hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys this pretty simple set i've actually done a rendition like this on my mom before i didn't record it and so i obviously did today um this is actually inspired by another set that i did on another client some years ago but all in all very simple and this could actually went in a matching set with my sister and my mom, um, because they both got cat eye, she got the cat eye with the ghosts for Halloween. She got cat eye, even though it's not Halloween, but my sister kind of sounded some type of way about the matching nails. <laughs> um, so she had a broken nail and I used these, um, OPI, um, I don't, what are they? Uh, whatever you see in the package say, I don't know that they're silk or fiberglass, um type nail coverings they're supposed to be to do a um god bless i'm a nail tech and i can't i can't think of the word right now it's early and i want to get this voiceover out so you know when they do the um like silk wraps there you go it's like what they use to make silk wraps so um it's the actual but i don't think this is silk i think it is some type of different fiber anyways so i used glue to glue that down um and then i use the gel bottle ink base um gel just to harden start hardening that up and stiff it up you see it kind of comes together like paper mache this didn't work it didn't work <laughs> um she comes back next time with the nail broken but honestly she came back with her other middle nail broken so not that that makes anything better, but um, I just say that to say usually when middle fingers start going, nails are too long because it is the longest finger on the hand will have the longest nail standing out. You know what I mean? So if you're noticing middle nail fingers are going, you may need to take down some length. And we did after this set, the next set that she gets done, we took down the length some so she wouldn't wasn't having those issues. So I use the gel rubber base. I'm using um, the IBD clear gel and just my brush that I always use. That's a filbert brush um, originally meant to be like a paintbrush, but it's a brush, you know, and I got that from um, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I can't recall, um, but again, it's a filbert brush. I suggest if you're looking, you know, for something like that, you can go down to that section and just kind of hold it in your hand, see what feels good, see what looks good um, to hold for um, the size of the nails that you're, you know, generally do. You can get two different size brushes. You can get whatever you want. Nail brushes don't have to be specifically nail brushes, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so you can, you know, if you find some nail art brushes, I mean, some, you know, brushes you like for various art that can be applied to nail art, some sharper brushes or whatever, perfectly fine. You know, they're relatively cheap and again, you can get the hand feel of the brushes and etc. So don't be afraid to get, you know, supplies for nails from, you know, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. No, I wouldn't, you know, you're not going to find actual nail products per se, but there's some things you can kind of transition over, some glitter, some art to encapsulate, just various things. So, you know, keep it in mind when you go to those stores that you can find nail things, nail art things there as well. <laughs> um, so I just fill the nails, as you can see, and I'm going in with a fine um, grit carbide bit. It is smooth top, so it is a safety bit. So I am not going to cut the client. All my bits are safety bits. Um, I don't believe in taking that risk for what um, these bits, safety bits come in so different shapes. So if this barrel type shape isn't for you, they make cone type or football 
shapes they make different ones you know really really thin tapered ones so you can get around the cuticle area but still have that safety and know that you're not going to cut your client I got into a whole big debate years ago with a nail technician um about using safety bits because I never understood why do you take that why would you take that risk I have fancy myself good with an e-file but as good as I feel that I am um if the client laughs sneezes their phone is on their body and it vibrates unexpectedly you know just any little movement that's not your fault that the client does and it may not be, even be serious you know they they don't think about it you know and on grand scheme it may not be you know serious again if they sneeze or something I don't want to cut them just because they had a regular body function or reaction so that's why I always use safety bits I don't see the point. I don't want to deal with anybody's blood under any circumstance. So I got these filed and shaped. I did use the carbide, I mean, the uh, cross cut bit as well, diamond bit. Um, and I essentially buffed the nails, finished smoothing them out. I then you see me put um, protein bond around the cuticle area. This dries sticky so your gel polish doesn't pull away from the cuticle area and sometimes i use this technique sometimes i don't it just kind of depends on the products i'm using i'm fancy myself kind of familiar with what's going on and just how certain things will feel on certain enhancements and i thought that this product may pull away so i use protein bond just in case but I again it just depends on the enhancement how it feels how it finishes how it buffs out um that's a whole another video another time I don't even know if that's something it's just like a innate kind of thing if anything can be innate with nails <laughs> um so I'm polishing the nails um with the cat eye of course it is the cotton candy I believe that's what it's called cotton candy cat eye it's from madam glam and you can use code tabitha to get 30 percent off your order or follow the link down below they may have better deals than the 30 percent i can offer you but following my link does you know help me out it's a referral on my part but y'all know i love their products so i'm just going in and putting the um we're gonna do a straight line cat eyes what my mom wanted um and i spoke about cat eyes before the particles the metal particles that pull the pearlized medical medical <laughs> metal particles that pull for with the magnet <laughs> sorry um they can move around so um on the first layer i do three four nails at a time um but once i get closer to the final coat sometimes i do two some of them require three I do one nail at a time because the particles will start to separate and move. And when you cure them in the light, you freeze them where they are, of course. So when it's the first layer, you see, and I got a pretty good line. You see how it is, but it kind of dispersed a little bit because I didn't do it one at a time. But just to, you know, just to use time wisely when I can. So it's real quick to do you know three four or five fingers at a time on the first layer but you need to kind of expel some time or you're going to lose some time because later on in the process i do one finger at a time and i just switch hands it doesn't become too long but i'm a slow nail tech anyways i say that all the time i am so um you know things taking two three four or five eight hours is <laughs> not a thing with me um but yeah and y'all may have noticed i started the first part of this with a different tone and voice i had really bad allergies and then i did the first part a few days ago i thought it still was okay um so i'm real stuffed up but it's just allergies and now i'm recording my usual spot i still got allergies but not as bad <laughs> always got allergies so i top coated the cat eye ones i'm using um indian pink Seum. I think it's Indian Pink Seum. It's Indian Pink, but I, I think it's Swarovski. I'm using the Micro Bees. I'm using Crystal AB Swarovski Crystals. Um, some rings and metal rings, charms, and um, the Nail Supply Glamour. You can see the gel glue in the tube. You can also use Daily Charm. 
I have a coupon code to have the 10 for them if you're interested. Their product is more costly, but if you're not able to um, shop with Nail Supply Glamour for whatever reason, um, you are able, they have a really good product. It is, again, more costly. So you can see I put a large amount of crystal gel glue. And uh, again, I've, I know I've explained this a million times when we're using crystal gel glue. It's not technically glue, it's crystal gel it's a gel that is made to hold elements and crystals very well okay boom so we want to sink the stones into this gel but just the rim of it you really want again i always give the example you want it to be faceted in like a diamond is or prong set if well i'll say faceted and i think that's the wrong word <laughs> you want it to be almost like prong set and you need to get enough to go around the edges. This needs to be a physical hold. It isn't a chemical hold. That's what resin will do. It will provide you a chemical hold because it will dry up under the crystal no matter what. This needs light to cure. So it's not curing through the stone unless you have unfoiled transparent crystals. That's another conversation. But these are foiled on the back. They're not transparent crystals. So the light cannot get to the gel under the crystal therefore we need to make sure gel is on the outside edge of the crystal so it can harden and physically hold it down i hope that makes sense <laughs> so i am just making this design up <laughs> as i go um like i said this is inspired off of a set i did for another client and a set that i did for my mom some years ago but i just kind of i'm doing a different bling kind of feels the same in a way but it's it's different it really is different um, so I'm just going with what I feel, what feels good. I'm making sure all that those metal pieces are really, really set into that crystal gel glue. You can go on the top of your metal pieces with the crystal glue or um, even top coat, but you never, ever, ever want to go on top of your crystals with your gel or your top coat that will block out the facet. That's the word that I need to use the facets from, um, reaching the light or reflecting the light i'm sorry guys um so you don't ever want to go over your crystals you want to seal around them so you can see i'm going and top coating and this is just a sealer from daily charm as well you can just use top coat and a little brush that i don't want to make that more difficult or more expensive than it needs to be so i just went over the metal pieces just to protect their color as best i can and around the stones and then I also want to add, you've seen me, and I didn't mention it earlier, fade out, uh, blend out the edges of that crystal um, glue, that crystal gel glue. Please make sure you do that because if you have a line of demarcation, it will show, you will cure it and it will show. So before you um, cure it, make sure the gel that you're holding in your crystals with doesn't have an obvious lump or bump that you can tell. So just kind of blend that out. Make sure it's enough to seal the crystal in but then blend the edges out and this is our final look we um sealed in the crystals with top coat cured that and then went in and top coated the shiny no wipe top coat around the crystals and yes this very simple very easy it's a cat eye um you know i'm just showing you guys whatever i can whatever i got whatever i do so i really hope you enjoyed this video maybe learn something hopefully my stuffy nose and my lack of breath didn't annoy you <laughs> but thank you for watching please subscribe comment like don't forget to check out my other channel that i have with my love we will be posting more and more stuff on that the link will be below we did like a curry video um some other silly little videos but whatever um all right thank you guys for watching wear a mask respect your neighbor please 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 all right you guys bye